Hello, it is Throwback Thursday. And what the heck is today's date? It is, uh, what is today? It's January, uh, yes. January 6th, 2022. Steve Cypress here, January 6th. January 6th, January 6th. Have we heard the date January 6th enough over the past year? Yeah, obviously it was a horrible event when some riled up yeehaws decided to break into the Capitol. Uh, first of all, like, uh, way to go government. After they broke in, of course, then they called in the National Guard. They put up all these fences all over town, whatever. Like, uh, you think you might have done that before? Like, give me a break. Okay, so, uh, you know what? It's, uh, it's real similar to, uh, I mean, to, to every kind of security, but I think about cybersecurity right now. I don't know if you are aware of this, if you've taken measures to prevent it, but cybersecurity, getting hacked, uh, kills businesses, small businesses, kills them. Big businesses can pay the ransom or uh, whatever you got to do or recover somehow, but small businesses often, if you get hacked and someone does what they call ransomware and they say, I've locked up your computer and send me X amount in Bitcoin or it's done, and small businesses, especially after being crapped on, by governments all over the country here in the U.S. and all over the world for the last two years are, you know, have already borrowed money and spent all savings and done everything they can to scrimp and get by and stay open at 25% capacity, 50%, people afraid to go out of the house, employees getting sick, don't show up, can't get anybody to work. Can you really afford at this point to now have to shell out however much thousands of dollars just because you neglected to do proper cybersecurity? So don't do what the government did and and say, oh, after we got attacked, then we put up all the security? Come on now. Uh, you don't want to be another January 6th in your bill, whatever date it'll happen to you. And so for the rest of your life, you'll be sitting there going, oh, the worst thing that ever happened was October 23rd or whatever date you get wrecked. And besides, by the way, did the government or the Capitol or anybody other than one person got shot, uh, one of the rioters, but did anyone else really get wrecked? Well, yeah. I mean, the people they have arrested, I've heard, they threw them in jail and they're treating them terribly and they've been holding them. What is it, Guantanamo? They've been holding them for like months and months and months and months and months and all kinds of crap and teaching them a lesson and setting an example. Yeah, I, they ought to do all that. They ought also, uh, you know, uh, stop people from uh, uh, doing, uh, you know, crossing the border illegally, uh, cheating the government, uh, this whole... Uh, this whole uh, COVID relief cares program, billions of dollars bilked out of the government. They ought to prosecute those people. They ought to prosecute all the people rioting, looting, burning down cities last summer. Uh, violence, uh, political violence, not what we're all about, right? This is the U.S. So, sure, stop it all from happening, but come on now. Stop it before, if you can, and certainly. I'm afraid that, in my opinion, January 6th certainly could have been stopped before. There's even reports that it was egged on by certain government people or the Capitol Police opened the doors and let people walk in or whatever. Like, come on now. Don't open the doors to your business and let people come in if you don't want them to come in. You close the doors at night, lock the door. Get some cybersecurity on your computer system. Do some smart things. Don't be stupid like the government so you're still repeating whatever date you get attacked over and over and over. Is it enough already? Come on now. Anyway, that's it for Throwback Thursday, January 6th, 2022. Toby is here. Great seeing you, my friend. And uh, that'll do it for Throwback Thursday. I'll catch you tomorrow on Foundation Friday. We're going to have another in our multi-part series on a fantastic foundational great book by Dr. David J. Schwartz, The Magic of thinking big. Is that what we're, yeah, that's what we're on, the magic of thinking big. It's been a few weeks with the holidays. I almost forgot, but I looked. There it is right there on my desk. Bookmarked, dog-eared, underlined, tattered, read over and over and over, and ready to share with you tomorrow. I'll catch you then over and out. Bye-bye.